Welcome back to Prey. Let's continue on to the Psychotronics Lab. <laughs> Access the guts. Oh, yay. Maybe I should get repair too, just so I can fix those damn things. <laughs> messages. We're in agreement on this one. Get through this place fast as possible. You're looking for a maintenance airlock to a utility tunnel called the Guts. It'll take you all the way to the top of the station. I'm scared about what I'm going to encounter here. And the fact that I only have 11 shots of shotgun. its way up. Don't know if that was the same one or a different one. Hmm. Alright, let's go down. Two of those? No way. Know for a fact there's one in here. Oh, hello. I'm really surprised they don't, like, they don't react if you foam them up and then start attacking the foam and not them. They don't do anything. So glad I got level 2 hacking. Okay, gotta be fast. Oh, I can get it! Yes! Oh, less than a second left. Oh. Sounded like stomping feet. Let's just lock that behind me. I feel better. I feel like I'm just inundated with weapon upgrade kits. <clears throat> behind the Iron Curtain. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States had warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung icily between the two countries. 
Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision still found itself alive and well within the oft-expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find that the public outcry no longer came from just the Americans, but from amongst its own citizens. The Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine. While at first only a minority, the Menshevik movement continued to grow rapidly. Events would ultimately culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention with the outbreak of civil unrest led by the Mensheviks and the beginning of the Second Purge. How many rounds do I have for the pistol 70? I really should use them, it's just so weak. And, like, you can't really use them against the... Uh... Crap, I forgot their name. Not the Mimics, the bigger ones. Starts with a P. That's the second time I've forgotten their name. You can't really use them against them, because you shoot them, like, once, and they just teleport right up in your face, and... It just doesn't work. That's just that, right? Yeah. Thank you. Apprehending Dr. Galagos. At the end of second shift, as per Alex Yu's direct orders, you are to escort Dr. Galagos to the security office in the main lobby. Oh yeah, I should probably set these up, huh? Deploying. Aw, it's not level. Poor thing. Could deploy that? <laughs> nah. Okay, anything comes after me, I can hopefully just run back here. Clean room preparation. Hmm. Are there explosives I can use? Get him. Oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Crispin Boyer. It's working? Okay, so it's locked, but they can teleport, right? So like, what's gonna happen? Let's see. Can it just not teleport through walls? It has to have clear line of sight? You gonna come over here or what? Seems like it doesn't want to leave. Not 
just saw me again. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't seem to want to leave. I can... Wait, I can hack it? What does that do? I mean, it's it's broken. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Um... Hmm, I don't really know what the point of that was. Obviously it's broken, so there's something to really do, but if it wasn't broken, would it do anything? Well, this can actually be redeployed. Deploying. It's not quite broken. Combos. Most enemies aboard Talos 1 are stronger than you, at least initially. Before attacking head on, try gaining an advantage by disabling them first. Freeze your enemies in place with glue or disrupt your stun gun. Block them from using powers with null wave transmitters. I oh, haven't gotten those yet. Sounds good. Or the Psychoshock ability. Oh, they take bonus damage when they're disabled. I didn't know that. Okay. Hmm. What was my last save from? Okay, this is fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother setting up the turrets. What's the point? Let's do something clever. Try recycler. It just feels like a waste. Are there bosses that I can use these on or something? It's not that powerful. I'll just glue it. And then shoot it with the pistol, I guess? Okay, it's good against taking those out. Good against what? It's good at taking those out, definitely. And it's silence, so I don't think it aggroed the big one. So, pistol's good for that. Oh, you're there. Oh, that's a weaker one. Okay. Yeah, alright, that one wasn't too bad. Yeah, the impression that I'm getting is that when you glue them and get them stuck, it seems like just a certain amount of... Uh, attacking it a certain amount of times seems to make it just uh, break out of the goo. Because I notice when I shoot really fast with a pistol, it breaks out super quick before I can do much damage. So I don't think it's just... I don't think it just escapes from the glue based on the time that it's in, and I think it's also how many attacks it gets. So if you do a bunch of attacks of something really weak like the pistol, then it's not very effective and it just breaks out in like a second. So I don't think you want to use the pistol against it. I think either the shotgun or the wrench. Ah. Eat some food. Ah. Ah. So much toilet paper that could be just mimics. The Starbender Cycle Book 3 Spatial Delivery. Oh, man. That's a good one. It's got two colons. Trevor Pulsar slammed the Talon's engine into overdrive, praying to Zalur he'd make the gap in the asteroid field before the Mordra raiders caught up to him. He was on urgent business for Empress Tourmaline, and rotting in a Mordra kill prison wouldn't do. 
JT-88, Trevor barked. She passed me through to the nearest Royal Fleet outpost. Moments later, a scrambled hypersignal could be heard in the cockpit, resolving from static to discordant tones, and finally, a voice. Trevor, is that you? This is Outpost Lambda. Where in Zalor's name have you been? Trevor replied, cool as a cucumber. Saving all of your asses, I found the Starbender Prism and I'm coming in hot. You know, I just imagined that all of Trevor's lines are just read in, like, Zap Brannigan's voice. You know, if I remember, I think recently the voice actor, I don't remember their name, but the voice actor who did Zap Brannigan in Futurama, I think he died recently, if I remember right. I'd have to double check that. Ah, Futurama. Alright, let's see if we can find some explosives to blow up the other way. Anything explosive in here? Probably not, huh? There was like almost nothing here. No. Dang. I almost wish I had leverage. But not really. I mean, I could probably do it just by using a recycler charge. I'm sure that would eat the boxes, probably. I don't know, can we enter that place from the back? Yeah, I mean, we just <laughs> we could just enter it from the back, so I guess that's just a way to um, escape having to fight the enemies in the other room. I'm guessing there's no enemies in this one. Whoa. I thought it was the toilet paper, but no, it's this. What the hell's going on with this? Ugh. <laughs> oh my god, that was cool. I'm glad I didn't just take that. It seemed like a bad idea to try to reach down there. Ew. Oh, I got the wrench by trying to flush it. Still hear noises, though. Gross. a bottle of wine? Is there something up there? No. Okay. Between the musical cue and just the look of the place, there's gotta be something nasty down there, right? That wasn't too bad. Uh. I want back there. Where's my explosives?
Gotta remember to look up, see if there's alternate pathways. Why is it still frozen? Psychoscope? Don't I already have one? Oh, what's this? Allows detection of hidden mimics. Psychotronic skill unlocks more slots. Oh, I don't even have any slots. Right? Yeah. Well, I guess... I guess I don't have a psychoscope. Oh, would you look at that? The psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos 1. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. Mark and scan nearby enemies. Scanning Typhon reveals new abilities you can acquire by installing neuromods. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's weird though that it says you can use it to mark nearby enemies, because I've already been doing that. So you don't actually need it for that. Strange. Cool interface. Uh, let's install that thing now. Start out with two slots. So I'm assuming it only shows them if you're in the psychoscope. I guess we'll find out soon. I almost wish, though, there wasn't a chipset that just allowed you to see mimics. I think it'd be really cool to keep that element of surprise. That's a different type of marking. It marks it even without zooming in. Alright, so I should try to scan it to gain new abilities, right? but I know it's nearby. Where'd you go? Scan complete. More specimens required. Gotcha. J to view research. It's about to come in here, by the way, as soon as I close this menu. Uh, so yeah, you can scan multiples of them to get more information. Common name Phantom. Oh, that, right, that's what they're called. Phantoms are not wholly alien, created by weavers using human remains. Phantoms have been known to exhibit human-like neural patterns at times. But as noted in blah blah blah, while phantoms may also attempt to reproduce human phrases, they do not appear to retain any form of actual speech or human comprehension. Due to the specimen's explosive speed, phantom must be subdued or enclosures purged before attempting to enter. Weak to glue. Immune to EMPs. Scannable powers, kinetic blast 1 and 2. So, I'm assuming the game is going to present this to me when it actually appears, but I've heard there's some sort of a thing in this game where you can kind of choose whether to become more like the Typhon. And I'm assuming this is what it is by scanning them and getting neural mods that allow you to get their powers. That's becoming more like them. And I think if you do that, it makes it so stuff like turrets, which are set to recognize Typhon DNA, I guess, will actually attack you along with the Typhon. So it could lead to some other problems by gaining their abilities. So I'm probably going to avoid getting their abilities, but we'll see. Oh, 
All right, weakness glue. All right. How many neural mods do we have at this point? Two. What's this? Oh, increases your side pool. Oh, oh wow. There's a whole list of stuff kind of opened up. Well, sort of opened up. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of abilities that the Typhons allow you to get. Can morph? Oh, I've already... I think I've already unlocked this? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I'll use those. Right, so where was the Psy one? So this whole branch is new. Psy pool, larger, larger, but it also opens up. Increase the effectiveness of Psy hypos. Additional chip sets. Hmm. I mean, so far I haven't gotten any more Psy powers. I don't, I don't know how you gain new Psy powers, aside from all these other ones here from the Typhon. Where did I get the first one? Security. Yeah, combat focus. So, what if I went for the next one? That would increase the duration by two seconds. Time slows less for you than your enemies. Right, that's a good thing. Attacks deal 110% damage. Actions cost 25% stamina. That's very little. Yeah, so a little bit longer duration. 25% stamina as opposed to 50. And also you do 10% more damage compared to normal. That'd be pretty good. Movement speed would be okay. Kind of want more health, though. Health would be very good. Yeah, I think I'll save up for more health. Psychoscope required beyond this point. Oh, let me also repair my suit. It's pretty damaged. Oh, Christ. I'm sorry I shot you. I thought you were red for a second. Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Oh, is that to give me... Does that refill my psi? doing that. Detour. Yeah, so I have to. operator. Hello. <laughs> so it doesn't only work on enemies, because this thing isn't an enemy, I don't think. Weak to electric, EMP, explosive, melee. Hmm. 
I guess that explains partially why they were so resistant to bullets from the shotgun before. I guess they're weak to melee and uh, I guess kind of resistant to bullets. What's that? Wait, that's a that's a phantom? What? Kinetic blast unlocked. I thought it was unlocked already. It was unlocked already. Good. Sending you the code to a safe in Director Kalstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. No. Do that. Maybe you'll live long enough for me to see your face again. Oh, so yeah, there's a specimen in there. Supposedly it's a phantom, although it just looks like amorphous goo. Uh-oh. That might not have been a good idea. Oh, okay. <laughs> Christ, I thought that was going to let it out. Can I lower it? Ah. Complete. All right, maximum research done. Yep, I unlocked the thing that already seemed to be locked. Uh, unlocked. Ah. So that's how the mimic show. I think some mimic. Hello. So just one mimic in there, it seems. Hello, Doctor You. I kind of want to take that single explosive all the way back. Um, hmm. Can I take it through one of these lifter things? Let's see. I want to take it back to that storage room down below. Will you come with me? Do. Dr. Hugh. Oh wait, can I go back through decontamination? Oh, I can. Alright, this might not be enough. Oh, ah. fuck! Huh. Little bastard. Any others? No. Okay. Guess my best chances are just to put it right here. No, we'll get closer. Closer. This thing likes to roll. <laughs> All right. Just, just like this. Fine. Yes! Look at that! <laughs> mm. 
what do I get for my efforts? Just, just glue. Come on, there's gotta be more, right? Did I cover it accidentally? No. Yeah, it's, it's just glue. Oh well, it was still worth it. Alright, let's head on in here. Hopefully I don't scare that thing off by going through the front door. Oh. Never mind. Can't go through the front door. Listen to it. Can you hear it? Anti rad. So that's how you counteract radiation then. Yeah. So I guess I was right that it probably wouldn't have gone away on its own. I mean, it's like in the machine. What's going to happen if I try to use it? I'm kind of scared. It's probably going to be dispensed. Yeah, little bastard. That's the only one. Okay, haven't seen one of these in a while. What do I want to make? <laughs> I could just keep crafting propulsion systems. <laughs> what would be the point of that? Um, I'll make some more glue. I've got plenty of these, right? Yeah, I don't really have that much... Whoops. I don't actually have a huge amount of nature or whatever, but I've got tons of these two. Really want shotgun ammo. This takes stuff that I have a ton of, so I'll just create one of these, sure. Actually, let's create two. So that means we have how many? Just the two, or did I already have some? Where the heck are they? Oh, they're there. Yeah, I've got three. Guess I'll upgrade this a bit more. Um, I guess I'll go with better reload speed. Better ammo capacity. See what we can do with the pistol. So damage is already maxed. Uh, accuracy definitely would be good. <laughs> if you upgrade it all the way, I wonder if you could just like snipe with it. Nothing's not going to shock me, like, back through the window, is it? No. Oh, there's a recycler right here. Sweet. All the junk. Extra weapons. Look at how much inventory space I have. No, you don't. Alex gave it to me, didn't he? 
I'm so scared of that thing coming back. LG conference room allow access? Sure. Oh, secret chamber? Huh. Archival footage. First contact? First contact with these things was in 1960? I'm scared. It makes a noise. Good. No, well, first contact wasn't too pleasant for the human. 65 Weaver. So what happened there? Started to transform into one of the, what, phantoms maybe? Don't know. Noetic field. I think I read this. Yes. Time to talk. Our esteemed colleague Dr. Galagos is posing a problem. Let's talk via looking glass ASAP. Takaji's injury. Patient Takaji insists she got her hand caught in a piece of machinery, but her wounds show evidence of bite marks. Human bite marks. Someone bit her fingers off. Her finger, rather. When I asked security if they could find the fingers, so I could at least reattach them, they said the machine had ground them up. What is going on? Also, inconsistency. It says, someone bit her finger off, and then it says, they said the machine had ground. Or if, I want to find their fingers. Singular. Plural. Telepath rejection. Full report still pending concerning last experiment. Uh, well, let's see. The Typhon Psychocratus initially evidenced interest in the subject, but then failed to colonize the subject's mind. Experiment halted at blah 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 at... Uh-oh, misuse request. Hmm. Pre-request, Dr. Takaji was sent to trauma. Her fingers could not be recovered. Ah, I hate that thing! I swear to god I'm gonna get repair too just to fix those things. They cannot be recovered. A subject is isolated under continual watch. Security will perform regular checks on his physical condition. Hmm. Typhon Mimesis. Earlier models postulated that the mimic reformed its molecular structure, actually replicating the atomic makeup of target object. We now hypothesize that mimics are not changing shape at all. When they mimic an object, the mimic is no longer objectively present in this universe. The mimic swaps with an object in a parallel reality, but maintains a conscious link, a kind of paradimensional entanglement, to the object in our universe. Really? Alternate universes? Hmm. 
Neuromod fabrication plan? What? Morgan, a warning. If you scan enough Typhon organisms, you'll be able to install neuromods that are powerful, but they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. Yeah, I'm not going to install them. How much do they cost? One, two, two, three. Okay, so the big limit's gonna be the uh, exotic matter. But still, like, I'm just gonna craft as many of these as I can, right? So far, nothing else has used the exotic matter. This is just like... Feels like printing money. These are so valuable. Oh, come on. Can only have two things in there at one time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nine narrow moths. <gasps> Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'm gonna get the next level of hacking. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Now we got three left. Effectiveness to make us 300% would be damn good, but I think more important than that is probably just getting more health. Where was that? Here. Increase your health to 150. Oh. Increases damage with security weapons to 120%. Chance to quickly hit to 6%. Ooh. I didn't know there was a skill that just straight up gives you more damage. Hmm. Well, I'm definitely going to get toughness first. I want more life. But I think I'll probably start saving up for this after. Alright, more health. Better hacking. Sweet. Hmm. So I need kill strips. Office keycard. There's like a security computer that would show me where the crew was. I, I think I was back a bit. I guess I won't go back for it. I was going to see if I could find Kelstrip's body. But, eh. Labs A, Labs B. Hello. Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Take a good look. Everything happening on Talos One started here. You were so driven in the beginning. My mistake was agreeing to put you at the center of the tests. That's when you began to drift away from me. We're close to understanding what they're after. What they're building. Just need a little more time. Oh god, they're building something. Scan complete. More specimens required. Oh, so a weaver is actually a different type of entity that I haven't encountered yet. That's what I saw in the video. Has Backlash, Phantom Genesis? If those are the powers I can get from it, then undoubtedly those are the powers it has. Weak to Null Wave and Psychoshock. 
I have neither. <laughs> Along with mimics, weavers were some of the first typhon encountered near the Verona 1. It was observed in long blah 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 and larger mimic populations. One mimic will be chosen via an as yet unknown mechanism to undergo a specialized metamorphosis. The chosen mimic is stung repeatedly by the others, triggering a rapid change, resulting in a new typhon genogratus or, or geniogratus or weaver. Weavers appear to be central to the typhon ecology largely as vectors for production for some of the other species, as well as the substance known as coral. I'm guessing they're weaving the coral. Whatever this glowing stuff is, is that the coral? Material Extraction Armory. Oh, did they all just all die from the fire? Where'd they go? Huh. Wasn't very productive. Man, that's the armory I want in there. Sapiens, weak to glue, psychic, and stun. Who the hell is that? It's actually an injury on humans. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to read that. Yeah, no. Hey! Hey, over here! Yeah, I see you. safe. Is that necessary or optional? Start extraction process or release the volunteer. Oh god. Extract what? What, you need guns? Ammo? I saw one of them science types going to that armory. Saw him punching the code. Uh, you get me out of here. I'll let you have it. M my name's Aaron. Aaron Ingram. To be honest, I can probably just hack it. Yeah, I've got level 3, I could just hack it. I don't need him to give me the code. But, I mean, come on, I'm not gonna kill the person. Come on now, God damn it, let me out! Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this place is locked down, alright. Let's see, volunteer Our test subject... Russian. I speak a little, but... As you can tell, I ain't from there. As you might have guessed, y'all really shit and fell backwards in it, huh? Hmm, so they're a criminal. Names redacted. Human trafficking, kidnapping, solicitation of a minor, distribution of controlled substances, and fraudulent impersonation. Hey. Hmm. What are you reading? A rap sheet, huh? Look, I'm telling you, on my mama's grave, that is a stack of lies meant to make pushing that button easier on you. Okay, fine, listen. I want to be honest, some of it probably is true. I done some wrong in my days, but this ain't right, now. Come on, y'all got to let me out of here. 
No, I'm not gonna kill you. I never did anything to those kids. I was just getting them out of a bad spot, that's all. Now, the real criminals, they didn't like how I was chipping away at their pile of rubles. They got their claws sunk deep in the government. Got me shipped off to the gulag. That's how I ended up here, see? All you gotta do is open the door! I'm kinda just digging the hole a little bit deeper, but yeah, so extract mimic? I, I don't know if that's literally extracting a mimic. I mean, that's not a mimic. I imagine it would give me materials if I did that. Or open it. Alright. Now that's what I'm talking about. Some human decency, friend. Yeah, don't make me regret it. Don't turn into something weird. You're the one person who showed me any real kindness, and you can believe I won't forget it. Well, if you still want that code, it's 8714. Listen, you run into the other fellas wearing a green jumpsuit? Watch your ass. Well, they ain't all decent human beings like me. <laughs> I don't think he is decent. Ah. Uh -huh. Oh, no. That's not a <laughs> that's not a mimic. It's actually just scannable. Spirit complete. All right. What have we got here? I mean, I've got all these weapons, but they are valuable materials. EMP charges. Weapon upgrade kit. Two shotguns. Shotgun shells fabrication plan. <gasps> That is very valuable. Damien Linton. Ew. I think I gotta go all throw this stuff away pretty fast. Oh, wow. Actually. With my inventory upgraded, I've got plenty of space, but yeah, I've got a lot of things I could throw away and recycle. And I'll, I want to get a bunch of shotgun shells, because... So, I've actually got a decent amount now. But still, I want to manufacture more. Let's see how much it costs for shotgun shells. Three and two. Yeah, I mean, that's using the two things I have tons of, so heck yeah. And let's see how many I, how many I get each time. 12 each time. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Let's let's make a bunch more. Um, I think that should be enough. 57? Yeah. Also, when I was coming back here, I realized there is a power control terminal. Which probably, yeah, doesn't have anything in it but power control. Can shut that off and make it stop. But then none of the machines work, so what's the point? Okay, you know what? I'm actually not gonna spend my next neuromods on I forgot what it actually was, the oh the one that increases the weapon damage. I'm actually gonna spend the next on necropsy. Because that will allow me to extract more things from enemies. Extract these mimic tumors and stuff. Which should give me more exotic matter, and exotic matter is the one thing that is limiting my ability to produce the neuromods to fabricate them. So in the long run, I think getting necropsy will allow me to get a lot more neuromods. What the hell? Why is everything moving? The fuck? What the hell's happening in there? Subject holding, I mean... If they're all mimics, okay, but mimics don't normally just slide around like that. I don't mean to be a nuisance, but when do you think we'll get to that breach? I'm headed out there as we speak. What do you think happened? Hard to say until I lay eyes on it. Could be some micrometeoroids punched a hole. Rare, but it happens. Okay, good. Hopefully it's just that. 
Is there something you're not telling me? No, of course not. It's just that storage room has classified exotic materials. We really can't have it be inaccessible. Uh, I understand. Poltergeist says you seem frustrated? The character's getting really freaked out. Does this thing explode? Oh. Okay, so it looks like I can't do anything more from the armory. Let's go check out one of the labs. Lab A or B? Let's go with A first. Alphabetical. Can I scan it? Yes, scan it before it comes back. Not sure what that was. Was that a hunched over phantom? Hello. Come on, scan it. No new data. Okay. Lock that. Requesting new operator. Hello, nice to see you. Four nine zero medical class operator ready to deploy. Please stand clear of aperture. Diagnosing. Uh. Seems to really want to go outside. There you go. Just gonna move this explosive out to the hallway. Probably gonna want it at some point. A mimic. Huh. Oh, where'd you go? Tricky little bugger. That's the null wave transmitter. 
developed in psychotronics, the null wave transmitter emits a burst of signals which suppress the psionic abilities of anyone caught in the blast for a short period of time. Okay, and that was a thing that was good against the weavers. What the hell is that? Ew. Oh god, you can break them. No. Ew. Warning, I've sealed several mimics inside. Two casualties, so maybe as many as eight mimics. Ew. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, I'm gonna open it, right? Like, come on. Yeah, the turret would be really good against a bunch of mimics, but can't. What would be the best thing to use against them? I mean, I guess a grenade. I still, like, these recyclers, you don't get many of them. I've got so many EMPs. I just don't fight robots. Just shoot them with the pistol. Nah. Save the game first. Ooh. What the fuck? What the hell's happening? My pistol did not want to come out. What was that noise? It's like it was selecting it 50 times a second. Those mimics were incredibly incapable of going through the window. What? Uh, can you come through the window? The door's locked. Are you capable of coming through the window? I'm just gonna, like... Shut the window, sort of. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good enough. Introduction to Survey of Parapsychological Meta-Analysis. That was something in my beginning apartment that I didn't want to read, and I still don't want to read it. Hello, Dr. Kelstrup? I wanted to follow up on my request to view one of the volunteer abdication contracts. Anna, you're supposed to be off today. I had some free time, so I thought... I've already told you, the VACs are sealed documents. My hands are tied. But isn't there some allowance for the researchers? I mean, my god, I'm the one pushing the button. Look, I understand. I really do. Oh, I thought it would keep playing. Sorry. This was easy. I just want to be sure. Believe me, everything we've done is perfectly legal. 
That's because Talos 1 is in extra national space. There are no laws. Anna, you're tired. It's affecting your judgment. Now, I've tolerated it for a while, but enough is enough. You need to take some time, understood? Yes, Dr. Kelstrup. I understand. Good. Oh, look, you've made me late for a meeting with Alex. New transcript, press L to listen. Didn't I just listen to it? You sure about this? Huh? Not too late to flush it all out in airlock, you know. I'm sure. Are you having second thoughts? No way. I'm in. It's just... I'm not the one incriminating myself. There's no happy ending for me either way. I'm trying not to think about it. Sorry. Did you make arrangements? Mitchell's on board. He's gonna bring me food. I don't need to know the details. Better that way. It has to happen on your next rotation. I put everything in a package labeled Mementos. The package is in my cabin. It's got to go to every media outlet imaginable. Got it. And Quinton, be careful. Security is already scrutinizing me more than usual. Oh, she's trying to blow the whistle. So that was a quest? Optional? Oh, <laughs> it's even called Whistleblower. Yep. Yeah, so there's a lot of things I need to get in crew quarters. I mean, well, not have to get, but a lot of things I could get because I have so many key cards and stuff for that area. Remember your mission. The volunteers trans to our senses are irredeemable. Sociopaths sentenced to die for their crimes. We are neither judge nor jury. We only enable their already ordained destruction to the benefit of all humanity. God, that's fucked up. I managed to lock my more key card in the morgue. Kelstrip thinks I'm an imbecile as it is. Have any ideas? I'm not sure what to do with that information. How do I get into the morgue without the keycard to the morgue? Anyway, is that thing just like hanging out outside or... What's that on fire? Oh. There. I want to look at something. Look at that. I wish I could zoom in without it being that super distorted view. But look at that. The whole ceiling is just like... Plants. It's beautiful. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to continue on to other areas of the lab.